Well, that is good. This archiving. is probably not. I can I can hear a thousand you know, archivists crying out in pain. I mean, right that's now, pretty good. So there's that, Lewis. This is. is it. This is the office. This is where. This is the the, the hub of all my research and creativity. Um, but there's a where bit the of magic a happens. It is it is literally magic. And if you look at my bookshelf, I've got lots of crazy occult books. So literally, magic does happen. There you go. Um, and gluing. But he, he, a lot of gluing. And gluing. Goes yeah, on you need to do a lot of glue to see the magic you have to do a lot of glue there's something i want to show you here can you can you see what these are um a load of undelivered amazon parcels no here you take that this is basically how i've kept my megs for like 23 years um it's not great i could have been more organized but you just end up in a situation where you, you just have so many of them and you also keep making more of them so yeah, like in this one, this is easy. This was just one project, right? That I did kind of over a period of time that was succinct and done. But like I had like projects that were sort of wide wheeling things with just photographing stuff and it just gets out of hand. I've got like wacky stuff. This, you know, this seems quite well organized just because it was really bad early work on 35 mil that I just sort of didn't touch. But the problem is, is that um, when I was making my book in the garden of England, I ended up just sort of ransacking loads of other projects I'd done and pulling images out, and it just got into a real mess. I mean, that's a nice shot. I don't know where that was. Yeah. Anyway, you know, who knows? So, long of the short of it, Lewis, I mean... I think, I can... oh, God, okay. Ed. So, like, this is one, and I've got some more over there, and I, yeah, I'm just in a bit of a pickle. And, uh, you know, that's English Defence League. Look, I've got EDL. That's my chicken series, so that's organised-ish, isn't it? But you know, I, I, I might have heard somewhere that this is not a way you want to quote archive your work. I mean, it's in a box, that's a kind of organisation. It is in a box. I mean, I've got, I've got some more here which I think are in little bags. Oh, oh my God, it's heavy. I mean, film weighs quite a lot, that's it the thing does. people forget, so you have to actually like move it somewhere. So, you know, like this, well, that is good. This archiving. is probably not. I can I can hear a thousand you know, archivists crying out in pain. I mean, right that's now, pretty Ed. good. So there's that. You know, I've got a fair. I've got some stuff here. Oh man. So you know, um, yeah. I need to basically sort this out, don't I? Yeah. Should um, we have a go? I don't. I don't think you can help me, <laughs> because if you just look at these negs. It's just going to be a mess. Like one thing I did get, which you did, I did ask you about, was in the old days, you know, light boxes, giant things with bulbs in and loads of diff and take up loads of space. I did manage to find this online. That's a little light box. Neat. So for throwing negs on that. Who gave, you that, who gave you that great idea, Ed? Uh, some guy called Lewis Bush <laughs> gave me that idea. And yeah, that's super handy. But the thing is, if you look at the negs and you're not me, yeah, you you're not going to know what, what the at. hell they are. There's no way of knowing. So yeah, I do need to sort this out. Years and years ago, I... I got some folders, which I intended to do this like eight years ago, and I never got around to it. So I got some big enough folders that I could put them in. Uh, but it's nice. just, you know... You might the, need a few more folders then. Having the time, isn't it? I don't think two folders is going to do it. You well, know. They're, they're, they're folded in. There's probably about four or five uh, okay. there. Um, still, still not sure. And, you know, why am I doing this now? Well, I've been going through my archive of photo books, and I've done like Kent and Texas. I've got a bunch of other stuff in here. But I also thought, because of the YouTube channel now, well, I've got loads of cool little projects I could, like, show you. And they're in there somewhere. So, yeah. But I've, been, I've seen photographers who have, like, refrigerated rooms that they walk into with their negatives. Mine <laughs> part. And other people. Um, and, like, that's really cool. But, dude, like, I couldn't even afford to get contact sheets printed when I was shooting all this film. Let alone, you know, keep it in any state of order. And did you ever know anyone when they were like shooting on film that have contact sheets and put them in the sleeves next to the folder? Did that ever happen? Yeah, but you? I mean, they're mostly massive geeks. Yeah, so. but like, I just, I would not do that because it would waste money and I would yeah. rather spend more money on film and keep shooting. I've so, got to say, it kind of feels like a refrigerated room in here. It's not, it's exactly, cool. not exactly balmy. It is quite cool. So here you go, dude. Here we go. So look, there we go. Maybe we could do it with my feet. Maybe for like yeah. Quentin Tarantino fans, <laughs> we could do that. So if you are a curator and you're interested in my work, again, I'm still holding my negatives to ransom. And if you don't contact me soon, they will be ruined.
Right, so it took all day, but I've made some piles, okay? Now I had some of it already sorted into little folders, which, ah, there we go. They're sort of, I put them back up in the box here, and generally each folder is a project. Obviously that's like Texas, because Pac-Man, that's like the most I've shot in something, but most of them might be like six or seven roll little projects here. This is Negs from Inner Garden, England, or at least Negs from lots of projects that I put together. So here's the next step. So I'm gonna try and get all these into folders to keep them all nice and organized. And to do that on eBay, I picked up uh, these little separators and yeah, they cost next to nothing, man. They were like, I think two quid. And as you can see, there's loads of them in there. And in each folder, I will only need a couple because yeah, I'll try and sort of organize them together. One thing you saw in the little speed up video is this little thing, check it out. So yeah, this is a little light box, but it's skinny. It's an LED little light panel and it's super amazing. In the old days, you'd have to get like a light box and it'd be a massive thing with tubes in and lots of diffusion, whatever. But you know, man, for just checking stuff out, look at that. Look at that, it's great. Um, I don't know if you'd wanna, I, I know some people are like, um, quote, scanning their negatives by putting them on a light box and photographing them. Like I would, I would never do that. I'd actually use a dedicated scanner. Um, if I got a loop over here, Let's just have a little look through this loop and see how it looks. Um, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe it would be okay to photograph. I don't know. Anyway, if you know about photographing negatives and LED panels, let me know. But it's not something I'm going to do. Um, I'd use a dedicated scanner. But, you know, for me going through thousands and thousands of rolls of film, this is a very quick and easy way of doing it. So, yeah, highly recommend. And again, I think I paid £9 for it. So again, very reasonable and very, very portable as well. I know it kind of sucks that my negatives are like this, right? I know that. I was just busily trying to photograph projects, get them scanned and sell them because that's how I was earning a living back then. Yeah, that's right. Magazines would actually buy your photo essays and you'd make some money and you'd carry on. And uh, at the time, like, you know, I just pay for just for the, d the dev of the negs. I wouldn't actually have the money to pay for contact sheets or whatever. And yeah, I know it's not great, but um, I've even joked about in the past. <laughs> about um, holding my negatives to ransom. I know that's not cool, but you know, I'm working on my next book, which is about something, which is this pile as a surprise. And yeah, although I've got lots of them scanned from like 10 years ago, I'm gonna do a little run through again and look through some of the photos and see if I've missed anything. That's always good to do if you're gonna do a book. Because if you're doing a book, it's kind of permanent. So you wanna make sure you've got all the right photos you wanted in it. Oh yeah, one quick thing to add is I'm using these print file negative sleeves and the reason I do that is that essentially you'll see they're completely kind of translucent and one thing I'll do just for speed is I'll, oh where is it, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere behind here is an Epson scanner, that's a V700 and what I do is I just literally scan the contact sheets just so it was done rather than having to pay money to do a printed contact sheet. And then from that kind of overall scan, I'll work out which individual images I want to scan. Um, lots of places will supply you with these kind of sleeves, the paper ones. But yeah, for me, they're no good because, yeah, I want to quickly digitize my contact sheets myself. And, and, and it's much easier to see. Like, look, if I grab if I grab this guy and whack it on here, you know, I mean, it's still OK. I mean, you can see what the photos are. But if I was to put a loop on it, you know, you'd see... Maybe it's not too bad here. Let's have let's let's go for it. Let's whack a loop on it. Let's whack a loop on it. Yeah, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's not too bad. But you see how much clearer that is. 